a Wallingford Jubilee 350 committee, a group responsible for organizing a week-long celebration of the town's history in 2020. The committee is co-chaired by Bob Devaney Jr. and former town councilor Christine Mansfield. Don't you know they happen to be in the studio? What a coincidence, well, guys. Very good. <laughs> Thanks for coming on to the Citizen Mike show. Uh, welcome back, Christine and Bob. Welcome for the for the first time. Thank you. So this Wallingford Jubilee committee has been uh, cooking for you know for a while now. Let's start from the beginning and tell us what's going on and what can we expect with this. Mayor Bill formed the committee um, about a year and a half ago, and this is to celebrate our 350th town anniversary. The founding in 2020 will be 350 years from 1670, and so we have a committee of hundreds that are starting to form and building on plans. Uh, we're a paperless committee, so again, we're under the auspices of the town, but we're using um, a website and the technology of G Drive and Google, and we've set up uh, a paperless committee where we can correspond using the best of technology. We have our headquarters at the Hubcap, very excited to continue forming and developing ideas to celebrate this great town. And history defines itself 350 years ago up until today. So from the past right into today and into the future, we have a legacy to preserve and build upon the great tenure that we've had in former Jubilees. Give us a flavor as to what we would see uh, at 2020. You know, what, what are we looking forward to here? Well, first of all, Mike and Ralph, thanks for having us. Uh, uh, I was very fortunate to be part of the 300th and the 325th of Wallingford many years ago with Johanna Fishbein and the rest of us in the 325th. Uh, but the 350th is going to be a very special week. We're, we used a little bit of the template of the 300th and the 325th to accomplish our goals of the old and the new, and more, more or less uh, based on the new. I mean, there's a lot of different ideas going with a parade to kick off the 350th and a tremendous ball to finish it off and not even got to mention a little bit more about fireworks on a Friday night right in the center of town. Uh, Ralph is looking forward to wearing his tuxedo. Is this a well, tuxedo ball? Oh, Ralph, we're all set. We have a ticket already set for you. <laughs> oh, gosh. That gives me something to look forward to. I got till 2020. But this is a, this is a tremendous week. I mean, we're, we've got uh, committees working on the descendants of Wallingford. Where, um, we have people from the Chamber of Commerce working with all our industry in town. Uh, like I said, there's going to be a ball. There's going to be a block dance. There's going to be a tremendous amount of sporting activities that are going to be happening through the entire week. And... We want people that really haven't been in town a long time to come in and really envelop themselves and see what Wallingford was like back in those certain days. It's going to be a tremendous celebration. I, I have a historical question, and, and I didn't get a chance to ask him. We didn't discuss this off no, camera. No, I know, but I mean, that's, I, I'm, I, I'm always interested in history, and right. so I'll give it a shot because Bob, of course, has been overseeing the cemetery for sure. so many years. Is there a figure, is there a central figure that's connected with Wallingford's founding? Because as I think about it, I'm not sure um, that one comes to mind, although, of course, Lyman Hall is, is, is always very prominent. So is there a central uh, figure? Ralph, I've known you since you started at the Record yeah, Journal. Right. I think you know that. Right. But, and of all people, you should know that Moses White Beach... Well, well I, I don't want to... Oh, no, come well, on, Ralph. Wanna, you should know that. Right. He started the Associated Press. Right. Well, Moses White Beach was not at the founding, mm -hmm. uh, certainly. No, but he was part of one. But I was really, about five years ago, through Bob's, uh, with some help from Bob, yeah. I learned that Moses Y. Beach was a very prominent newspaper man in his mm -hmm. time. That's why the school was named after him. He also, when he retired from the newspaper business, and Moses Y. Beach was very involved with founding the Associated Press, which I had no idea about. Yeah. Um, he was a, uh, he became a benefactor of education, if you go over to the cemetery, you can kind of tell how wealthy people were, at, in some ways, by the size of their monument. And Moses Y. Beach had just about the biggest monument. Yes, there. he did. So, so I've digressed in keeping with that. Is there a, a, a figure that's central to the to the anniversary? You know, I think um, you, you, it's a cornerstone there um, okay. because you're touching on the fact that there are so many footprints. There are so many pieces of the cornerstone of Wallingford. We've put a moments committee together okay. and we've tasked all the historical groups to work together. And again, this project is uniting mm -hmm. every part of this fabric of town, new and mature. And like Christine said, the moments committee, yeah. is, it's going to be very special. 
we have the Historical Society, the Johnson Museum, and we also have the Board of Education getting involved with 350 moments of Wallingford, 350 special moments. The town being 350 years old, I'm sure we can find more than that. Now, are these moments presentations? What, what, are, the, what are the there, moments? They're going to be literally moments. Um, I, points in time. Um, they could be the founding of a school, it could be Moses Wise's bir uh, Beach's birthday, it could be um, any number. Um, they're going to compile a list. We're using Google Drive. Every entity, including the library, will be compiling this, will prioritize it, and based on the category, that's going to become the cornerstone to then feature and build dramatization through video, the arts. Um, Mary Ellen Kingsling Eccles will be doing the play, as, as you can imagine, and reinterpreting moments, pieces of it, all of it, and then all of the rest of our committees can take this as the backbone to solidify it. This eventually will become curriculum as a template that the Board of Education will then brainstorm with their, um, their curriculum experts and build some type of curriculum based on the state mandates for the year 2020. So this is a very co comprehensive opportunity. We're starting literally with a list and we're going to prioritize that. Is this events spreading all over the downtown uh, when it finally comes to be in 2020 or is it it's going like to spread one through the entire town okay okay yeah everywhere every and sector do you have a specific date or a week yet mm -hmm. what's what's that be june 20th 2020 yep. to the 27th the 27th would be the ball every day we'll have a theme it again we're picking up on the successes and the best practices of former jubilee of committees yeah. where we have each day we'll have a representative theme there'll be events planned um, a, a number of the committees and chair people have already been established we're always looking for more volunteers not every job is filled let's that's get important to that. for the public let's get to that if someone is watching and they're now inspired yes. and they haven't been inspired before what do they do if they want to join in and help our website we are always online 24-7 wallingford350.org we also have the hubcap which of course is located on center street um, as our headquarters and we have materials there for registration sign up whether you like a paper form to fill out we're a town entity we have a mailbox set up at the town hall 45 south main street you can use that to mail to us well, you can also call us um, and again we have a variety of different mechanisms to we're talk to we're both extremely accessible and we're, okay. you know, we have people calling us but all the time do you actually have tasks for people to do work mm -hmm. to do absolutely because we just don't want to sit in a no. chair absolutely. you know we no. don't want to do we that have, we, we want to get our hands dirty <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take many people to put together the parade okay the parade is going to be huge that's going to be the kickoff of the 2020 and then of course the culmination of the okay.